Okay, I'm gonna do something a little crazy. A little something different. I'm gonna make a sort of 3D uh, lipstick tube as a request from one of my grad students, Nicole. So here's what I'm gonna do. First thing, I got a layer, I'm great. I'm going to go up to my menu under 3D and I'm gonna get new mesh from layer and I'm gonna choose a preset and I'm going to pick a cube. Boom. Now that just looks like a square. So let's rotate it a little by choosing this little tool right here. So let's rotate the camera a little so we can see it better. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. Now we could add all kinds of color and stuff, but we're not going to. We're going to work on it in the other way. So I'm going to hit return. And I'm going to go ahead and go up into um, edit and I want to choose transform and I'm going to scale and it's going to say you can't scale it and I'm going to say convert it to a smart object which means now I can so if I hold my shift and option key together pull from the corner I get a nice even but I want to make this actually a little higher there we go it even has a shadow and I'm going to move it down so it's in space and hit return. All right, that's the bottom of our lipstick tube. Awesome, cool. Come over here, make a new layer. Bing! New layer. And I'm going to come under 3D again. I'm going to go from mesh. Uh, I want to use a cylinder. And it's huge. So I'm going to go through the transform again. I could go edit and then transform, free transform, or I can go command T. Either way will work says I must convert. I will. I'm going to hold my shift and my option key and I'm going to drag. Get it small. Er, er. I'm kind of eyeballing it. There we go. And uh, we don't need to rotate it. We'll just hit return. Now notice that's in front. We'll just drag it underneath that layer and then we move it around a little till we get it kind of centered -ish. We can use the arrow keys to get it the way we want. If it's too big, we'll make it smaller. And then I'll, there we go. I'm just not getting that right. There we go. And looks fabulous. Okay. Now we need to do the top of the lipstick. I think I want to move that down a little. So, you know, every time I move it, it switches places. But I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And then I'll do that. So that, that's looking okay. Now we have to do the top part. Okay, the next thing I need to do is make a new layer. Made a new layer. I'm going to drag it up above there. And I'll drag this one below there again so we can see what we're doing. New layer. And I'm going to go to the 3D mesh. Same thing I did. Going to get a preset. Going to go grab me a cylinder. And as you can see, that won't work. <laughs> so we're going to need to transform it. I can go under the window, edit, transform, right? Go command T, convert. And I'm just going to make it smaller. Hold the shift key so I can make it smaller, 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 smaller. I'm going to move it here. So it's sitting there. And then I'm going to get everybody in the right spot. Hit return. And I can just move this up to the top. There you go. Now, my lipstick doesn't come out square. I don't know about you people, but mine comes out with kind of a rounded tip. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use a mask to round that tip. With my tip layer chosen, and if I'm not sure, I can just turn off the lights till I get the one. Ah, oh, there it is. Click it. I'm going to come all the way down here to the mask. Click that. With my paint, with my paint chip at black, I'm going to go grab a paintbrush, and I'm going to chop some of this off, and then I'm going to adjust it. So I'm going to start here, click once, and then I'm going to kind of go in an angle. Hold the shift key and click. I'll just wipe all that out. See, nothing went away. And then I'll just... And if I don't like it, I can always come back and do it again. So let's try that again. And... There. And I want mine a little round. And there you go. So I've got a nice little rounded. And this edge, too, could use a little round. So I'm just, I'm just using the brush to sort of just round that off a little bit. It's not perfect, but in my case, good enough. 
and nobody has a pain nobody has uh a um tube of toothpaste that's not toothpaste tube of lipstick that's gray so let's put some color on there this one's the lipstick we can go under here all the way down to the special effects we're going to go up here to layer and then we're going to go to layer style and i want to choose um i'm going to do a gradient overlay so i'm going to click it and black ain't the color although i do like the style being reflected that gives us so let's go and change this we'll click on here and i don't want black so let's click that and let's go for a nice kind of red kick-ass red and we'll change the gray to maybe um, a lighter grid. Make sure we've got the gray selected. We just have to say okay here. Then we'll click on the gray. Gray color. Click. And let's make that more. There we go. We don't want it to match exactly. So if we make it a little lighter on the edges. There you go. Say okay. And say okay. There you go. Now we've got some lipstick happening here. I'm going to leave this silver because mine usually are silver. So I'm just going to say OK. And then I'm going to choose the rectangle, which is this one. And I think I want to do the same thing. I'm going to add another layer effect. So I could go layer and layer style. And I'm also going to do another gradient. Gradient. I do not want red. So I'm going to click this change that color to black boom and I don't want this color I have to say okay I don't want this color to be red either I'm gonna change that to a gray too much gray let's make it a little darker there we go nice dark color say okay I don't know about you that looks like lipstick to me uh, what I'm going, I think I want to make that gray lighter. That light, that gray just looks too dark to me. Um, just my, there we go. That looks a little better. Just my personal opinion. There we go. Nice little. Now, as a finishing touch, I'm going to grab my text tool. I chose some Zafino. I'm going to click here. And since this is for Nicole, We'll name our new brand Nicole. I'll drag it on here. So that's our new brand of lipstick, which is called Nicole. And uh, that's it. I'm all done with it. It's all saved. What we can do at this point is if I select, if I selected them all, all these shapes, once I do this, they cannot come apart and I merge them down or link layers might you could link layers or you can merge them so if I merge layers I get one lipstick I can move that the Nicole's not attached to it because she can make her own choices so now I can save that I can drop it place it into things and that's how I made my uh, lipstick tube I think it looks good I don't know about you guys but I think it looks good I'm done bye bye